So again, here we have another ladder problem, and it says it rests against a house, and the house is six meters high. So I'm going to draw my house here. I've got a six meter high house. Okay, and the bottom of the ladder is two meters from the ground, from the base. Okay, and I've got an eight millimeter long ladder. Now that definitely is not going to be eight meters like that, okay? Because it's impossible. So what ends up happening is our eight meter length extends past the top of the house. Okay, so this is what we're looking for. We're looking for how much of the ladder extends beyond the roof. Okay, so what we're going to do then is we need to figure out this length we'll call x. Well, that really just ends up being the hypotenuse of this right triangle. So I can say that I know that the relationship is not 6 plus 2 equals x. That's impossible. I know that it's the square from side 6 plus the square from side 2 is equal to the square from side x. So we end up with 36 plus 4 equals x squared. So the square off of the diagonal is going to have a size of 40 squares. Okay. If I want to find the length of x, I take the area, I square root, and I'm going to get the side length by doing that. Okay, so there's my side length, square root 40. So if I do 40 and square root that, I get 6.32 approximately, approximately 6.32 meters. That makes the length that I'm looking for, this piece here, the piece that extends beyond, 8 minus 6.32 gives me 1.68 meters. So 1.68 meters extends beyond the roof. Okay. So the last one here, we've got a quadrilateral, so it's a four-sided object, and we know it has a width of 17 and a length of 26. Okay, so this is our quadrilateral, and the diagonal for this quadrilateral is 31 centimeters. Okay, so what we want to know establishes, is this in fact a right angle? Now, if this is a right angle, what will happen is it will, it should follow Pythagoras' theorem. Okay, if it doesn't follow Pythagoras' theorem, it is not a right angle. So, I'm going to test it. So, 17 squared plus 26 squared should equal 36, or sorry, 31 squared. Okay, and we want to know if it's equal or not. Okay, we're going to test it. So we're going to work out 17 squared, okay, that's 289, plus, and we'll work out 26 squared, I need a calculator for that. So 26 squared is 676, and 31 squared works out to be 691, oh, sorry, 900. And 961. 961. Okay, so do these two add up to 961? 289 plus 676 equals to 965. So I end up with 965, and that is definitely not equal to 961. Okay, so these, none of these are, these are not equal to each other. Okay, so what does that prove then? Okay, that means then that this is not a 90 degrees. Okay, so the statement I'm going to make, this is my argument then. Since the sides do not follow Pythagoras' theorem,
triangle, the, the angle is not 90 degrees, therefore not a rectangle. Okay, so we can use the Pythagoras theorem to, to actually prove if something is 90 degrees or not. Okay, so this is, a, this is an important consideration when we're using Pythagoras theorem. It has to be 90 degrees. The converse or the opposite is that if it doesn't follow Pythagoras theorem, the angle is not 90 degrees. So this is not 90 degrees. Okay, so we can use the, the this is what we call the converse of the Pythagoras theorem. 